Hello and welcome to the video Hibernate Logging with Log4j2 In this uh, video, you will learn how to configure Hibernate framework to use uh, Log4j2 framework uh, to have uh, more uh, control over the logging information uh, generated by Hibernate framework You know, by default, Hibernate framework uses the Boss Logging API to bring the logging information and the default log level is info this uh, log level sometimes uh, limited for debugging purpose as you cannot see all the detailed information or the necessary logging information to uh, debug uh, your programs uh, let me show you this here uh, my Eclipse IDE I open uh, a Java project that used his hybrid framework here and now let's run this uh, program to see the login information uh, printed by hybrid you can see this is the login information of hybrid framework you can see the uh, log uh, level is info that means it displays only the information of Thai information of Thai info or warning uh, error yeah so if you want to view more detailed logging information you need to uh, configure Hibernate logging so why do we need to use a uh, log4j2 for Hibernate um, because we can have more flexible uh, greater control over the logging process for example you can change the message uh, logging layout or writing uh, the log information to files uh, and you can uh, configure Hibernate uh, to view more detailed logging information by enabling the debug log uh, level and here are the steps to uh, configure Hibernate framework uh, with Log4j2. First, you need to add uh, Log4j2 dependencies, and then uh, you need to create a Log4j2 configuration file either in a uh, XML or properties file, and then you need to specify one or more Hibernate log categories. And you see this table lists all the log uh, categories defined by hybrid uh, framework you can see the log category org.hybrid.sql uh, log all the sql data manipulation language statement and uh, the log category org.hybrid log everything a lot of information now let me show you how to Configure Hibernate Logging with log 4 j 2 uh, You see, you see uh, Java uh, project that uses Hibernate Framework and it uses Maven. So open the Maven XML file here. And the first step is uh, you need to specify dependencies for log 4 j 2 here yeah. you can see in this project I used the Hibernate version uh, 5 5.3.11 with my SQL JDBC driver and now let's specify dependency for uh, Log4j2 dependency the group ID is org.apache.logwing.log4j and uh, artifact ID is log4j-api which is the uh, API of log4j2 and uh, version here I use the latest version 
and another dependency you need to add for look for the two is for the core API for the core so change the artifact ID to look for the hyphen core uh, version is the same so to use look for the two you need to specify two dependencies the first is look for the API and the second is look for the core and then you uh, expand the Maven dependency node here and you will see Maven automatically downloads the log for j file here you see and uh, you see how many you see the both logging to enable blocking to allow uh, programmers to block the uh, external logging framework you can see uh, look for the two here so that means hibernate uh, support uh, logging with log for the two okay and next you need to create a log for the two configuration file under the uh, SRC main resources uh, folder here. You can see in this project I use uh, Hibernate XML configuration. And now let's uh, create uh, another XML configuration file for Log4j2 here. New other. Now let's create XML file. Next. And name it as Log4j2. XML. Uh, this is the name of the log for the uh, two configuration file. You see, and finish. Now let uh, specify minimal configuration for log for the configuration. First, we need to specify a log appendix. Uh, we use a basic console appender. Name is console. And transit is system out. And for this appender, uh, we need to specify the button layout or the layout of the logging message. The button is first is the date and time. Date and time. Year, month, day, hour, minute, second. And then is the name of the thread. And then is uh, name of the log level level, and then is the name of the logger, and then the actual message, log message, and the new line character, and then. We specify loggers. First is a root logger. Root. The level of the root logger is info. And this logger is a appender. Appender. Sorry. Appender. Ref reference. Control. And now, this is the most important part. You specify a uh, hibernate log category, yeah, as you can see here. Now let's try the uh, log category org dot hibernate on SQL. Logger. name is a category name. 
org.ibernet.sql level is in debug to print more information and uh, this logo also uses the console appender okay that's the minimum configuration file for the 4 j 2 now uh, we can run uh, program book manager here Uh, we run the read method that uh, displays the details of the book with the ID 2 from the database. Okay, and uh, in the hybrid uh, configuration file, uh, delete the property hybrid underscore uh, hybrid dot uh, so underscore SQL here because we use a log category. Uh, uh, I'm not SQL, so delete this. Okay, now let's run the program. Book means run as Java application, and you see, uh, this is a logging information uh, printed by log 4 j Two is different than the default uh, logging in Hamlet as you've seen uh, previously, right? You can see the date, time, uh, the red name, date, time, the red name, log level, log category, message, and you can see the information of the hybrid SQL log category here. You can see the level is debugged. And local category name here, and the uh, message is a uh, content of the SQL statement here. You see, you can see in the console view here, you see our program prints the uh, message the information of the book read from the database and now uh, you can i will show you how to use log for j2 to display this as a logging entry okay you can see this is a statement system dot out of print line that prints the content of the book to the console now uh, we replace uh, this with uh, log 4 j to log in statement first you create a, a local class here print static local Log equal log manager get log get the default log and here you can uh, change to log dot uh, info this is log dot uh, one warning okay let's run the program again now you can see uh, this line you see the log category is a package and class name of our program and this is a Content of the book printed, you see. Now let's try to uh, book ID to another ID which, which doesn't exist in the database and run the program again and, and 
you should see a warning a warning uh, log message you see here warning book could not be found note that the warning red line here is outputted by MySQL JDBC driver okay so far so good and you can try to change uh, the log category of hibernate to different uh, for example, change to org dot uh, category. This uh, pin everything in hybrid, as you can see here. Org dot hybrid look everything, so it will print uh, a lot of information. Now let's save the file and run the program, and you will see a lot of information. You see, a lot of information. For debugging purpose with uh, Hypernet framework, very useful. Next, uh, I show you how to uh, configure log for Z2 to uh, write logging informa information to the text files. So we need to specify another uh, vendor. Call file appender name equal file specify the file name for example in hibernate dot lock this uh, lock file will be created under the project directory and we use the same button layout as the console appender. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the hibernate, we want to write only hibernate logging information to the file. So we'll specify another appender reference here for the file. Okay, now let's uh, run the program again and to see. A lot of information because we use a uh, hybrid log category. Uh, ORG uh, dot uh, hybrid here. Now refresh the project and you will see the log file generated here by hybrid by log for the two here. You see that exactly the uh, log file name I have specified. Now double click this log file to see the content. You see this is the content of the logging information written to a text file okay so far I have uh, guided you how to configure hybrid logging with log4j2 you learn how to specify uh, dependency for uh, log4j2 and then create a log4j configuration file with the uh, console appender uh, and then uh, you learn how to uh, use a uh, logger uh, log in the program. Uh, you see here logger info logger one. And then I show you how to configure logger to uh, print the log information to a text file uh, by using a file appender. Thank you for watching.